Now, I've got to say, there are a lot of friendly faces here in this room, people that I've been privileged to know and to work with. I just want to put you all in a basket of adorables. <laughs> and you look so good in your tuxes. Greetings. This is the Shadow Man. So the three presidential debates are over. First went to Clinton, but second and third went clearly to Trump. Of course, CNN says otherwise. In the second and third debate, Clinton melted down twice, and both times were regarding Russia and Mr. Putin, who she blames for everything that isn't going smooth in her campaign. So just before second debate, the notorious audio recording came out of Trump having a guy talk with Billy Bush. And Trump was, uh, was talking about groupies who would let him do anything. And of course the world went, went small-minded. When rock stars talk about groupies in the same way, it's totally fine. But when Trump says it in private, a country with biggest poor industry breaks down. Trump of course apologized in his, uh, for his remarks, but the backstabbing career politician Republicans already started demanding that he pulls out of the presidential race, which Trump of course never will do. The press of course mainly focused on this story, almost completely ignoring the massive releases by WikiLeaks about Clinton, which included the transcripts of her behind closed door doors bank speeches. And as it turns out, she was telling the bankers the exact opposite what she was telling her folders. But somehow, almost all the press kind of let it go while bashing Trump on a daily basis. Trump has gotten criticism for saying that the elections are rigged. Well, he's kind of right about it. All the media who call themselves fair and balanced are all attacking Trump and letting Clinton get away with everything. Also, the media many different and many different organizations are trying to guilt trip and intimidate people into not voting for Trump and that is rigging. It can be called any other way. And then, a day after the third debate, there was an event in New York called L. Smith Charity Dinner. Both candidates invited to roast each other. Trump used the opportunity to say what he really thought of the elite scumbags in the room. But Clinton said something entirely different and I quote, I had the privilege to know and to work with a lot of people in this room and I just want to put you all in a basket of adorables. So hang on, let me get it straight. She calls regular hardworking people a basket of deplorables and morally bankrupt elite a basket of adorables? Well, people had people that really says it all, doesn't it? Answers once and for all which people she wants to care for while being in office. Of course, none of the main media pick this up as uh, f since they were too busy roasting Trump for not being politi politically correct during the di this dinner speech. In the third debate, she also made it pretty clear that she wants to, that she would love to have a conflict with Russia over Syria, since she's of opinion that Syria somehow belongs to Washington. And they call the shots around there, while they were never invited by the legitimate Syrian government. So on November 8th, I really 
hope that Americans don't vote for a person who wants Fallout games to become a reality, but actually, but will vote for someone who actually wants to cooperate with Russia.